So hello there and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with another The Hunter Call of the Wild video. Now this video is going to be another update to my moose grind here on Medved Tiger. Now something that you're going to notice as we go through the clips that I do have to share with you is that in some of these clips I'm not going to have my normal setup for skills and perks. You'll see there I had hardly any spotting information for this first level 5 that we just took down there with the 308 AR and that is because I recently restarted my save game. Now, I decided to restart my save game purely because I was really burnt out on Call of the Wild. I have been putting so many hundreds of hours into trying to get this great one moose that unfortunately I just got really, really burnt out and I wanted something to sort of work towards instead of just the great one moose so that, you know, I had something else that I was actually actively working on sort of just to keep my mind a little bit more occupied as I was doing things. And I have been having an absolute blast. It has been so much fun to go back to the start and have to, you know, regain all my skills, all my perks, all my levels, rework, you know, my guns and everything like that. It's been a lot of fun. And something that I realised quite quickly is that moose are actually very good to grind when you're looking to grind levels and XP. So I ended up grinding moose on Medved pretty much the same as I have been but with different weapons, sort of a different, obviously a different skill and perk setup while I've been, you know, trying to earn back my normal skills and perks. So it's been really interesting. Now, the first two level fives I ended up finding were both initial spawns and unfortunately both trolls. Now, I did expect this second one here to be a troll just because it is so wonky and I've not had a single wonky diamond at this point. So I figured he was probably going to be a troll and as you can see, he is at 270.5. Three. But it was two big moose and, you know, that gives me some nice cash and some nice XP. So I wasn't complaining at all. And to get two initial spawn fives, I was pretty happy. And then I ended up finding this. Another initial spawn level five. But this time, that's not a troll. That's the big rack for a diamond moose. And I was super excited to see this as an initial spawn. I was really hoping that this was going to be, you know, a possible max weight. This is the, the rack that they have when they can be max weight. So I was really excited to actually take this one down. And taking him there with the 308 AR with a heart shot, he goes down nice and quickly. And I was just super excited. Obviously, I couldn't see the trophy estimate, so I had no idea what his uh, minimum score was going to be. But I knew he's obviously going to be really big having this big rack. So very, very exciting. And yeah, I was just super happy to see another one of these huge moose. Every time I see a big rack 5, it just gives me so much more hope. And picking him up, he is max weight at 620 kgs. And he does score over 300. 300.12. What a beast of a bull. Now, I have had max weights that have actually scored lower than this. And I do wonder what his minimum estimate would have been if it would have been another minimum 300 estimate like the one I had previously. But either way, I'm super, super happy to have gotten this as an initial spawn. And like I said, it just gives me so much more hope. After the reset that happened when Great One Moose were introduced, all I had in terms of good initial spawns was one level four diamond. So to have three level five initial spawns, two of them trolls, but for one to be a max weight diamond, that just feels so much more like a positive start, like a really good start to me. So I was extremely happy about this. And it's, you know, one of those things with the restarting, obviously it's been a slower process of grinding. I can't just zip around because I don't have all my tents. I can't just, you know, shoot as many moose as possible because I've only got the 308, which is obviously a weaker caliber than the 300. But it's been fun and it's been really, really nice to have that challenge. And getting to bring down a moose like this whilst actually doing this challenge was something I didn't expect. And yeah, it was just a very cool experience. The big 300 scoring moose or, you know, normally 300 scoring moose, they're just so cool to see. Now, something else that I ended up finding that was an initial spawn was this little piebald cow moose. And I love seeing the rares, so this was a very cool thing to see. It is only a female, but they are so pretty. The piebalds just are so, so pretty. I absolutely love seeing them. Just so gorgeous. They might be my favourite piebald in the game. They've got to be up there because they just look so good with these reworked textures. 
they're just absolutely gorgeous and i can say it over and over again but i think they did such a fantastic job with making them look so beautiful with the new models so yeah just a gorgeous looking animal and like i said only a female but that doesn't really matter to me i was just happy to find a rare now moving on a little bit and we will see here i spot another level five this time you can see i've got some more skills and you can actually see the weight estimate the score estimate basically is the same as it always would be however i can't actually spot with my scope at this point so i'm not going to be able to spot him there through the scope but you will see i am using the 300 at this point i did actually buy the 300 which was brilliant moose are really good for money and that's kind of why i ended up grinding moose as one of the first things i was going to do coming back to this i wasn't really intending to go back to grinding moose straight away but they're really good for money and XP, so why not, I figured. At least I'm then making progress on the Great One grind as well. Now, this one surprised me. He's very, very uneven, but he's actually a diamond at 282.49. When I saw this guy, I wrote him off as a troll immediately, because every time I've had a wonky level 5 moose, it's been a troll. So I really didn't think this guy had any chance. So I was very, very surprised to actually pick him up and see the diamond score come up. Good weight as well at 612.80 kg. Just very surprising to see. You don't see a whole lot of wonky diamond moose. So a very interesting one. And like I said, out of all of the diamonds I've had, this is the only uneven one I've had. So yeah, a very interesting one that I was actually really happy to have and actually have it spawn. And this was the sort of first level five that I had spawn after all of those initials. So an interesting one for sure. And you can see he just really is very uneven. But it's kind of interesting because it's not so bad that it looks impossible that this could happen. So it's just interesting. He's a very interesting looking ball. And that's, uh, I think, my, my biggest sort of point about it. It's just a very interesting looking animal. But it kind of matches a little bit in certain ways with how that rack actually looks. So definitely want to tax and send to the lodge. Now at the same lake, after shooting that level 5 that was very wonky, we have a level 3 piebald bull. Now this was my first rare that actually spawned after grinding, so I was actually really happy to see this. Another piebald to add to the tally of piebalds that just seems to keep on growing, but just a gorgeous looking animal. The way that their pattern actually suits medved i think is really cool it gives them really good camouflage on this map and i was thinking that as i was watching him go down there that they just really do fit well on this map now unfortunately he landed a little bit weirdly with his legs hidden otherwise i probably would have got a, a screenshot there but just a nice silver level three piebald and again they're super beautiful so every time i see one of these it's always a cool thing the piebalds are obviously the most common, I would say, for, for the rares for moose. Piebalds tend to be the most common for most animals in terms of rares. But you do end up seeing quite a few piebalds popping up when you are grinding. But like I said, I don't get bored of seeing these absolutely gorgeous creatures as I'm doing the grind. Every time I see a rare or a level 5 pop up, I'm always excited. So that was really cool to see. Now, interestingly enough, a couple of runs later at the same lake, I was actually just running a few lakes over and over again. So I'd done a couple of runs of this lake and a couple of other lakes. I come back and there's another level 5 spawned, actually very close to where the wonky level 5 spawned. Now, I thought this guy had a pretty good shot at being a diamond, but unfortunately he ends up being a troll at 274.85. Really close to actually making diamond, but unfortunately just not quite big enough. With him being even, I was quite hopeful that he would make it, but unfortunately he's just not quite big enough. But still, another level 5, another positive thing to see. I'm always happy to see that max level pop up. Now this next moose is once again at the same lake a couple of runs later as I was still rotating just a few, few lakes over and over again. But this one's really unfortunate because it is a level 5. I could see immediately that he was wonky but he had an estimate of only up to 271. So a guaranteed troll level 5. So unfortunate. And you can see, once again, we have a very wonky looking rack, which most of my trolls do end up looking something like this. 
But again, it's just really unfortunate that you do see so many troll moose. I didn't think that they trolled as much as they seemed to, but they do troll quite a lot, or at least for me, I end up, have ended up having a lot of trolls. But that was a little bit unfortunate. Then, later on the same night, which was actually earlier today, I end up getting this. Another big rack level 5. And this is actually only the third what would be diamond, it's a guaranteed diamond with that estimate, that I've ended up seeing. Also, just taking that small bull out whilst I could there, I had a nice shot opportunity. Managed to get vitals on the small one as well, so that ended up working really nicely. But of course, the one we're interested in is this absolute monster level 5. What a beauty. So, so happy to see this. And knowing that of what I had, you know, I've had quite a few trolls, four trolls, but that two of my three diamonds off of the grind so far have been big racks. And not only big racks, both over 300 and both max weight. Yes, one was an initial spawn, but then to see this as the third diamond in, that's just fantastic. I've not had a whole lot of big rack diamond moves on this grind. So I, I just think that they're fantastic. And every time I see one, it's just so exciting for me. I don't get bored of seeing these. These are so awesome looking. And like I said, I'm just super happy to have had two max weights on this grind already. It makes me feel a whole lot more positive on this grind going forward. We are at about 5.9 thousand kills into this grind with no great one. And I'm hoping that maybe this time my RNG will be a little bit nicer to me on this sort of second half of the grind. Um, I'm calling it the second half of my grind because obviously this is a new save and maybe my RNG will be different this time and maybe we will end up actually getting the great one. Hopefully that will end up happening. I am trying my absolute best. I'm really trying to get as many moose down as possible. Also working on levelling up and everything. As mentioned, this is a new save and I'm enjoying levelling up. Like I said, it's giving me something else to focus on and I find that really positive. But yeah, I'm just feeling quite positive going forward at the minute. I My respawns seem to be quite good to get four level fives in one night, two trolls and two diamonds, one of them being a max weight, feels extremely positive. So fingers crossed eventually this great one will show up. Again, I do apologise for lack of other content whilst I am doing this, but I am sort of just head first going into trying to keep pushing on this grind. As hard as it is sometimes to just keep going, I'm just constantly hoping that maybe it's around the next turn, maybe it's the next run it'll end up spawning. So I am going to just keep going with it for as long as I possibly can. And yeah, I do apologise if you are a little bit bored of seeing moose content, but this is what I'm doing so I you know I always like to share what I'm doing and I think at the end of the day the more videos that I put out and show what's actually been happening then at the end it's gonna be nice to be able to look back at it all so I think that's a really positive thing and maybe I'll be able to put like a little compilation together of all of the moose kills that I've had in terms of diamonds and trolls and rares and stuff at the end that could be really cool to actually just have a moose compilation I think so yeah, I'm enjoying documenting as I'm going along all of these different kills and hopefully eventually this great one will spawn and come to, you know, the grind will come to an end. But that is going to be it for this video. So thank you so, so much for watching and for all your support as always. Once again, just a huge amount of support from all of you guys with this grind and I really do appreciate it. You are all really awesome. So thank you so much for that. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.